us here at the center. Uh, our board, our staff, uh, many of our supporters, uh, and a number of people from within the cultural community. Uh, we welcome you to really what is a very important and very special announcement. My name is Paul Guzzi, and I have the privilege of chairing this board. And though I know this isn't a total surprise for those of you who have listened or read uh, uh, the paper today, but this is extraordinarily special and important. It's special, of course, to this center and to the Schubert uh, because it gives this center and these theaters additional capacity to entertain and bring joy to people. But in addition, it reinforces the educational mission uh, that we here have really focused on with students here in the inner city to help educate them, to help give that creative and set of leadership skills that we know we can be helpful with. So the synergy of this uh, uh, new partnership uh, is incredibly important. So with that, uh, the order is going to be first uh, uh, our terrific CEO, Joe Spaulding, then of course, uh, uh, Ernie Bach Jr., uh, for whom uh, this center will soon change its name, and then batting either cleanup or third in the order, Mr. Mayor, uh, Mayor Walsh, has joined us. So with that, uh, Joe Spaulding, our incredible CEO here at the center. How cool is this, huh? I uh, actually, as most of you know, never read something, but I do want to make sure I cover every point that I want to talk about the Bach family. So thanks, Paul, and thank you for all for taking your time today. I want to thank Mayor Walsh, obviously, for being here. I saw Julie Burroughs come in. I don't see her at the moment. There she is at the back, and I'm thrilled that you are all here. I also want to say something nice about Citibank. They've been a wonderful partner for the last 10 years. Uh, they were there uh, 11 years ago when we started this, and it's rare in life that you get to do this two times. And it's rare in life that you get it better the second time. And I am just so thrilled about today. In recent months, we've talked to a number of potential companies and individuals in the hopes of finding a sponsor whose passion, interests, and community commitment aligned with our own nonprofit Performing Arts Center. During those conversations, it became extremely clear that there was one standout, where the synergies on a personal level, a business level, a community level made for the natural fit. I'm thrilled to announce on November 1, 2016, we will officially be operating a new, under a new name, the Box Center. Again, how cool is that? <laughs> to the entire Bach family and to Ernie, a profound appreciation of how special both the historic Wang and Schubert theaters are, and I think it will become very clear when he takes the podium that we share a passionate commitment to arts and arts education. It is also deeply gratifying that this continues the center's unique tradition of naming support from iconic families. Yes, the Wang family, and now the Bach family. Families who built local businesses into global success, families whose children value creativity and culture, and families who believe in investing back into their community. We are extremely proud that the Bach family has stepped up to the plate and made such a critically landmark investment in the Boston arts scene with us and the cultural community. It's a challenging environment out there, everybody, as you know. And when other institutions are struggling to secure financial support, we, both Ernie and I, 
and the Bach family feel very fortunate that we can play a role. This sponsorship will allow us to combine and bring world-class entertainment to the region, strengthen our free education and community outreach programs, and preserve our historic venues. On behalf of the board and of the staff, please join me in welcoming the businessman, the philanthropist, the musician, and most importantly, my friend, who's making all of this possible, Mr. Ernie Bach, Jr. I'm going to do one thing first, all right? In the typical style of Ernie and myself, we love the theater and the drama of doing something now. So before I turn the microphone to Ernie, let's celebrate the launch of the great partnership by revealing our new logo. If you could raise the banner, please. Thank you, Joe. Okay, we gotta loosen up here. That's the first thing. I can hear a pin drop in here. Talk amongst yourselves. I did this. This is a great theater, and it's got such a great history. First rock show I ever went to. I went here in the early 70s, before the internet, and when you had to get concert tickets. I slept in front of this place to get tickets for Deep Purple. And as a side note, almost 40 years later, I opened for Deep Purple in this very venue. So besides this being near and dear to my heart, the reason I did this is because of Joe Spaulding. So please give Joe another hand. The outreach to the community that Joe does is nothing short of magical and is truly an amazing thing every single day. Everybody knows that shows go on here. You have plays and rock shows. But during the day, this is a living and breathing theater that helps the community beyond what you could even imagine. So that, that is why I'm, I'm here. And uh, there's my daughter, Stella, right there. Say hi, Stella. <laughs> but th that's all I wanted to say. I, I really appreciate everybody coming here. We're going to physically do this November 1st. And I am very, very excited about it. Thank you. Before I introduce the mayor, let me uh, just say two things uh, uh, to Ernie. One, you're never going to have to wait outside for tickets again, <laughs> be assured. Uh, and two, many of us were hoping uh, that you and Joe might perform for us today, but that will be for another day. Uh, it's now uh, my personal and professional uh, pleasure uh, to introduce our mayor. You know, if you followed the campaigns, uh, Marty talked about uh, the importance of STEAM. And a lot of people said, what the hell is STEAM? Uh, especially coming from Marty. And of course, it is focus on the sciences, focuses on technology, engineering, the arts as well as math. Uh, to be a world-class city, which indeed I believe we are, uh, we also need to be world-class in our cultural community. This mayor has been and continues to be a champion uh, for that aspirational goal. Mayor Walsh. Thank you very much, Paul, and I want to thank everyone for being here today. 
Um, there's been a lot said already, and I'm not going to go on too long, but, but I just want to talk briefly about this Performing Arts Center has been a creative leader in Boston for decades, and, and certainly under Joe Spaulding's leadership, I want to thank you, Joe, uh, for all that you mean to this city, not just to this, this center, but, but what you mean for the city. So thank you for everything you do with the Wang, the Schubert. And I just said to Joe on the way in, when I was out running for mayor of Boston in 2013, uh, we were talking a lot about the arts and culture in, in, in the campaign. And I came over one day to have a meeting uh, with Joe to talk about um, what we can do as a, as a campaign at that point for, for the arts and culture. And he took me downstairs, and he had a program going on for kids performing. Uh, there was a summer job program. Uh, kids from the city of Boston, a few other cities and towns around, around the greater Boston area. And I watched what, what he was doing with the, with the kids, teaching them how to perform, how to use art to express themselves, but also employ them. And I remember leaving here thinking about how do we take that program that's here in the basement of the Wang that goes out in the streets and, and make it a bigger program. And, and through Joe's efforts, we have done that. And I want to thank you, Joe, for that. And I want to thank you for taking that meeting. <laughs> Arts and culture is, is something that makes our city vibrant. And it also helps diverse our economy. Uh, elevating the arts has been a priority of my administration, and uh, she's been mentioned already, Julie Barros, the Chief of Arts and Education for the City of Boston. I want to thank Julie, who's here with us today. Uh, we released our first ever Boston, well, we think it's the first ever, Boston Creates Plan back in June. It's a citywide, the first that we can find, cultural plan in the history of our city. And we're using that plan that's giving us a vision on how to be a municipal arts leader. And we do a lot of great things in the arts uh, in our city over the last decades. Uh, but now we have a plan that we can tie in, not just the Wang, but tie in the local artists, many of you are here today, in our community, and making sure we have a true plan, a true blueprint to move our economy, move our arts and culture forward. It was a process, and it remains a process, that strengthens our creative community. And part of the, the process was encouraging everyone to get behind our arts community and commit to our performing arts spaces. We've made, we've made great progress in what our intention and our goals are, and today we see another step in that. I, I commend Ernie and the Bach family for stepping up to invest in this center. I want to thank his entire family and thank him in particular. It means resources for this venue. It means for all the work uh, that happens here, whether it's performance or education-based, uh, that work can continue. It also talks a little bit about when Ernie talked about coming to his first concert here. Um, the Wang Theater and the Schubert um, is memories for a lot of people because a lot of people will say their first happened at the Wang, their first happened at the Schubert, whether it's a, whether it's a comedy show, whether it's a concert, whether it's a play that will have an impact on their life for the rest of their time, it's important for us to understand that, 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 that the impact that, these, that, that a beautiful place like this has. And I want to thank you, Ernie, for your investment. I want to thank you for your commitment to the arts. Um, we all know the program Music Drives Us, the Music Drives Us Foundation. And, and last year, the last, about within the year, uh, Ernie Bach called my office and said, I really want to meet the mayor because I didn't know Ernie. I knew Ernie from watching him on TV and I knew him from his car dealerships and we didn't know each other. And so he wanted to come to the office. And so Ernie came to the office and he had about six pallets with him. And he brought it into the office and he had buckets and different types of things about how to teach music. And that day, he said to me, I want to make an investment in the Boston Public Schools with, through the Music Drivers Foundation. And he has done that. He's opened the doors for kids in our schools that allow them the opportunity to, to understand and get that, get that feeling for music and to open up a whole new world for them. So not only today, but back that meeting several months ago and the investment you've made in our city. Thank you very much, Ernie, for everything you've done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with congratulating the center, congratulating the Bach family on this new sponsorship. I look forward to working with all of you, and I want to thank many of you in this room today 
uh, you are the leaders in, in so many different areas of, of our city, uh, not just arts and culture, but business and, 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 and the like. I want to thank you as well for your commitment to our city that makes that, our city such a great place. Thank you very much and congratulations. So once again, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I think you can see, uh, and if you hang around, we're around to talk. We're going to offer light refreshments. Uh, the, there's plenty to drink. There's plenty to eat. Uh, enjoy yourselves uh, here for a little while. And I think you can see the synergies between the Music Drives Us Foundation and our programs, how this is only going to enhance what we both do and what we all should be doing in the city. And thank you, Mr. Mayor, for coming. And with that, this is concluded. Thank you very much.